So, this is the inside of our new baby grand piano that was donated to the school. You see there that we're having to rewire some of it. Uh, the strings are old enough and have rusted a little bit. And so a few of them, you'll notice the brighter ones have already been replaced. Uh, a few of them snapped when our piano tuner was tuning. Uh, and so they are hanging over here. What left of them. Uh, so he's going to be restringing some of them. Uh, it's a little hard because right down here you see where those strings are coming out of. Uh, it's a little bit like threading the needle in the dark because it has to come in from this side of the piano and you can't really see under there and it's kind of hard to feel up underneath there. Uh, so you have to thread them through them those little holes and then for these upper uh, keys, you'll notice that the, they're in groups of three, so for each key that you press on the piano, on the upper higher notes of the piano, uh, the hammer hits three strings to produce the sound. Down here towards the middle, uh, still three strings, and then when you get to the lower end, we get into two strings uh, that are uh, one string with another string coiled around them. And then down here on these lowest notes, you have one really big gauge wire uh, with another larger gauge wire um, wrapped around it there for the lowest notes on the piano. And right down here is where the keyboard sat, uh, but we've pulled it out and we're going to uh, check the action a little bit. Underneath here is where you see what the pedals affect. Uh, so when I press the right pedal, which we call the loud pedal, it raises all of those things right there, which are attached to these things right here. And you'll notice they raise off the string. And that means that the string vibrates uh, without any uh, dampening. But when I pull up the pedal, those sit back down on the string and they dampen them. And then underneath here, we also have... Uh, this one right here, which is not attached to anything, because that one is going to move the hammers closer to the string so that it's a little bit softer strike. And we go over here, and here is the keyboard pulled out. Uh, and I took a slow motion video of this that I'll tack on here at the end. Uh, but each of these keys, when you press it down, is a really long lever. Uh, and it pops that hammer up, and that hammer hits the string. Uh, and it's been blown off and the dust's and been cleared out of that so that we can check and make sure that the uh, keyboard still functions correctly. Uh, so, a little bit of maintenance on this baby before she's finally ready for playing. Uh, and then we'll post some more videos.